What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a touch sensitive button inside of your LED modified PS5 controller. Now, if you watched my previous videos, I actually showed you how to install custom LEDs inside your PS5 controller. So if you're interested in that and you haven't seen any of those yet, I'll put those in the description below. One thing that I noticed is that it's pretty convenient to be able to turn off and on your LEDs. Well, I came up with this cool idea of installing a touch sensitive button, which does not require you to drill any holes inside of your PS5 controller shell. So this mod actually gives your controller a nice clean look it does it looks like it's pretty much untouched so you don't have to have any buttons sticking out or anything like that and this is essentially the little chip that i'm going to be installing inside of the controller it's actually called the ttp223 chip this chip essentially senses the resistance of your finger so when you actually touch it it's going to turn on a little transistor that's embedded inside of this chip so you barely have to do any work to get this working the only thing that you actually have to do is to activate a certain mode so the mode that i actually want to be activated for this controller is to simply be able to touch the touch sensitive button through the controller to turn off the LEDs and if I want to turn them back on I just touch that same area again then they'll turn back on. So now to actually activate that mode we have to bridge these two connections on solder point B. As you can see right here there's two little tiny solder points. We just have to put a little bit of a solder onto our soldering iron tip and then we can touch it directly to point B right there and then it's going to bridge those two connections for you and then we're going to get that mode activated. This is exactly what you should end up with. As you can see it was pretty simple. You just have to touch the soldering iron there for a couple seconds and then you're all set. So I'm actually going to go over the layout on this little tiny board for you guys real quick. VCC is essentially the main power from your PlayStation 5 controller that this will go directly into that point right there along with all the main power leads of your LEDs inside of your PS5 controller. Next we have IO. Now essentially IO is the ground connection that you want to hook up all your LEDs to. So every single negative lead on your LEDs just go directly to IO. Next we have the ground connection. Now this ground connection is just simply going to go directly to the ground on your PS5 motherboard. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys a quick little schematic that I drew up for you just so you can visualize it a little bit better. So what I want you to do as you can see this little rectangle box that I drew right here. This is the PlayStation 5 motherboard and this red lead that's coming up through the top that is my main positive power that i'm getting from the front of that playstation 5 motherboard that's the 3.2 volt lead and then i'm coming out to my resistor that i use for my leds and that power cable is actually coming out and it's connecting directly to the all the powers that are on the positive leads on all my leds and then all of them come together and then go into vcc next you'll see all my negative leads and all of my leds are going directly into io and then my ground lead on that little board is going directly to the ground that's on the bottom left of my ps5 controller motherboard now as you can see here here is that little 3.2 volt lead that i have coming up from the front of the motherboard here are all my positive leads also you can see down here at the bottom left that is all my negative for my leds now i have it soldered to the board i just have to disconnect it and then move it to the io so as you can see here, I have everything all started up. It's pretty much ready to go. So it looks a little bit of a mess right now, as you can see. So I'm just testing it out because this is the first time I'm actually utilizing this little tiny board. And before I close everything up, I just want to make sure everything's working correctly at the way how I want it. And as you can see, I have all my positive leads going from that resistor and they all come together and then they all go into that VCC point. And then I have that IO pin that one goes to all of the negative leads on the leds and then again that ground one goes directly to the board okay so this is essentially the first test with this main chip that i installed right here as you can see i have my controller just plugged in directly to power and you'll notice that all of the leds are illuminated at the moment so this is a good sign that means all my power connections are hooked up correctly so we can actually go ahead and touch this touch sensitive button and then we can watch the magic happen so there you go, as you can see the LEDs, the, all of them turned off perfectly. And you'll also notice that there's actually a built-in red LED onto this little tiny chip. Now, you don't have to worry about that because once you put it inside of your controller, you're never gonna be able to see it. Because uh, once I installed it, I was a little bit worried that the red LED would kind of shine through some areas. Overall, I haven't been able to see anything at all. Now, I just wanted to show you guys the exact location where I'm going to be installing this chip. So when you take off the uh, back plate of your PS5 controller, you'll notice that there's a little tiny foam pad for your battery. I'm just essentially going to be installing it directly right on the top of that. Now when you install it, all you have to do is just put a little nice decent glob of hot glue there. And then you just place that chip directly on top of it and then you just push it down trying to make it as flat as you can. So with that said, we can go ahead and close it up and the controller is pretty much finished. So right now I got my controller on. Everything's working perfectly. All you have to do is just 
touch that little area that you where you put your chip and then your LEDs will illuminate. So with this feature, it's a lot more convenient to be able to turn off and on your LEDs because you'll save a little bit of uh, extra battery life. So overall, I really actually like this little tiny chip. It's pretty cheap. I'll have the link to it in the description below. So you can go ahead and purchase it if you want to give this mod a try. Now, one thing with these LEDs that I actually installed in this controller, they're actually UV LEDs. And with this camera that I'm using currently right now, they look really bright blue. But in person and in reality, the buttons actually look kind of purple. And then and the joysticks look a little purplish bluish so with these uv leds it gives it a really cool effect but it kind of messes up what the camera actually sees so i'm actually going to go ahead and get a professional camera just to try to show you guys exactly what this controller looks like because um, i'm actually listing this controller on sale right now on my etsy store so if you're interested in it uh, go ahead and go check it out and with that said, let me know what you guys think. If you liked the video, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And I, I just want to let you guys know that I will be coming out with my water-cooled PS5 video soon. I actually partnered up with a fellow YouTuber. And he actually designed a custom full mono block for the PS5 itself already. So um, I got in touch with him. We're actually going to be working together to be able to make these. And once I get it and test it out and I, I design my custom case for it, we're going to try to be selling them so we can uh, do this for you guys so we can make custom water-cooled ps5s for everyone and we're also going to be making kits as well so you're not going to want to miss that make sure you're subscribed and you stay tuned for all my videos